One Chicago police officer is accused of attacking another. Now an investigation is underway on it. As sources tell CBS News Chicago, this was a romantic relationship between two officers that turned ugly. Our Andrew Ramos has the story from the Southside Police Station where the assault allegedly happened. The Chicago police officer at the center of this case identified as Francisco Galvan. Now we're told it was inside this parking lot right outside the 7th police district is where he staked out and waited for his girlfriend, another police officer who he attacked in what is being described as a drunken rage. <laughs> The disturbing attack happened late Thursday evening. According to a police report filed in the case and obtained by CBS News Chicago, the victim, an on-duty CPD officer who we are not identifying, was sitting in her patrol car in the 7th District parking lot when she was suddenly physically pulled from the vehicle and attacked. That attacker, 30-year-old Chicago police officer Francisco Galvan. After repeatedly telling him to stop, as many as seven officers ran to the victim's aid, intervening and restraining one of their own. They would later smell alcohol coming from Galvan, the police report said. Several empty cans of alcohol also found in his pickup truck that the off-duty officer drove to the 7th District himself. Galvan was later taken into questioning where he appeared to be intoxicated, falling into a deep sleep where he later vomited on himself, the police report said. The victim in the case who acknowledged that the two were in a relationship did not wish to pursue charges. The state's attorney, however, did file charges, charging Galvan with domestic battery. A judge ordered Galvan to turn in his service weapon. This could affect his job, long-term job, because if he's convicted of domestic battery, he will not be able to carry a firearm under the law and he will have to have his position as a police officer be terminated. In addition to domestic battery, Galvan is also being charged with driving under the influence. He is due back in court on September 13th. Reporting from outside the 7th Police District on the South Side, Andrew Ramos, CBS News Chicago.